All right. Uh, thanks, everybody, for joining us. We'll get started in our press conference. Um, we'll start with Darren Wolfson today. Coach, I always appreciate your time. Good morning. How about just an update on Brandon Johnson? Uh, good morning. Um, we will give him a look today in practice. You know, I think he's uh, he's it's day by day, I'd say for sure. Um, there certainly is a chance he could play tomorrow. He has not practiced yet. Um, so we'll just give him a look today and kind of go day by day. But, you know, it's nothing. Uh, it's a lot. It sounds weird, but a better injury than we thought it would be. It doesn't seem to be as bad. And, and he seems, uh, you know, very, very confident that it's getting better. So we'll give it a look today and practice and see. Other questions for coach? Andy Greeter, go ahead. Hey, Richard, I know that you uh, talked about, you know, maybe wanting to, to not look ahead to the Big Ten schedule, just given how daunting it was. Um, what can you say just about this start and then maybe how it might even out later on? I know it, every night's a challenge, but. Well, I would hope that everybody feels it's a challenge to play us. You know what I mean? That's the way I look at it. Like, I don't really look at the schedule much. I mean, it happens every single year. Uh, hey, you know, the, the first couple of games are tough. I, I don't ever remember a Big Ten game being easy. I just don't. I think the coaching is too good. I think the players are too smart and too good and too tough. Um, the stakes are obviously very, very high in every single game. You know, so it's, it's to me, everything evens out if you're consistent with what it is that you're doing. Um, I like where we sit right now. I know we have a long, long way to go. Um, and there's no greater lesson during a pan, during a pandemic than to just take it day by day. And uh, so the goal right now is get better today, prepare for Illinois um, and go from there. So, like I said, I mean, I think all these games are hard, but I also hope that they think playing us is hard as well. Marcus Fuller, we'll have you go next. Coach, uh, you know, last year you had a tough non-conference schedule going into the Big Ten uh, with all those road games. And you played at home uh, so far this year. So it's your first road test. Can you talk about just the challenge of that going into? Well, the, the reason why we, we did that is we're in the middle of a pandemic. Um, we've always scheduled very, very tough. We were going to play Marquette and Mohegan Sun. We were, depending on who the winner, we were going to play a tough game there. We were going to play Mississippi State at home. You know, so we're in the middle of a pandemic. So let's make sure that we understand why the schedule is the way it is. Um, I didn't think it made much sense making a schedule where you're traveling all over the place in the middle of a pandemic in the middle of a non-conference. Uh, we're playing on the road. We're not playing in front of any fans. It's totally different. You know, we're, we're, we're having a meeting talking about, you know, meal tonight and how we can't eat together as a team. I mean, there's so many things that are totally different than what you normally would go through. Uh, I haven't been on a plane in nine months. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, these guys have it. So, you know, it's, it's, it's just a different experience. It's not even close to normal. Um, let's make sure that we get there safely, you know, because we're kind of getting out of our bubble a little bit. Um, get into that building, get some shots up tomorrow. And, uh, you know, when, when the game starts, execute the best we possibly can. Uh, next up, we'll have Jeff Wall from Fox 9. Good morning, Richard. Uh, kind of expanding on that, just what are some of the logistical challenges of traveling for your first conference game amid a pandemic? And like, when do you get the testing done to make sure your kids are clear? You know, just kind of go through some of that stuff. There's a million challenges um, that everybody's dealing with. They're, they're, I've said it a million times. I mean, it's not just us. I'm answering your question. I don't want to sound insensitive to what you're going through. We're all, we're all going through a million challenges. Um, it's not going to be normal. Uh, the biggest thing is, is that we do it safely, uh, but there's going to be some uniqueness to what it is that we're doing. Like I said, for, you know, your meals, uh, normally we have a routine of eating together as a team, maybe taking them out to eat, watching like totally different, totally different. Um, you know, so it's just about the safety more than anything. I mean, we're trying to pull off uh, sports in a pandemic and as much as we want it to be co competitively competitively equitable safety is the number one most important thing and uh you know luckily we have people uh through our administration and everywhere else in the big 10 that are that are all on this thing together 
Marcus Fuller, back to you. Uh, so a basketball question. Um, seems like the past couple games, uh, you see more balance in the offense with um, Liam kind of getting going inside. And then obviously, uh, you know, you're getting some uh, scoring from Booth as well as Marcus. Yeah, I think it's going to take time. I think our, our chemistry on the court is going to take time. We have the six most new, you know, six new players. That's the second most in the Big Ten. Uh, Nebraska's got 11. We got six. And, you know, four of those guys are playing big minutes. It takes time. You don't have a summer. You don't have a traditional fall. You have to pause. It takes time. Um, and that trust has got to be developed on the court. And it's just you rep it out every single day and where, okay, I know if I run this ball screen, so-and-so is going to dive hard, or maybe he's going to short roll because he has a tendency to do that. Or That just takes time. Um, but certainly we want balance. We want, we don't want one guy having to be relied on over and over and again, again to score. We want to be able to read, you know, take what the defense gives us offensively. Uh, we want to be connected defensively, rebounding the basketball and, uh, Every, every day is an opportunity to build that trust. We'll go back to Darren Wolfson. Richard, how good is Illinois? Very, very talented, uh, very well coached. They play hard, they're tough. Uh, I mean, Io is one of the best players in the league. Kofi's one of the best players in the league. They've got terrific parts around them. I mean, Frazier was, God, he was maybe their best player a couple of years ago. You can't sleep on him. They've got, you know, really good young guys. Uh, Georgie, you know, he could be one of the best bigs on any other team in the Big Ten. Um, so they've got a great identity of toughness. Um, they're physical. They've got great weapons uh, and they're well coached. So, you know, there's a reason why a lot of people have picked them to, you know, be at the top of the Big Ten. Um you know, so it's a, it's a huge challenge for us um, with a lot of unique opportunities in front of us. Andy Greeter, you're up next. Richard, can you give us an update on Trey? I know we took a, maybe a shot to the leg there. And then just kind of what is he showing as far as maturity from last year? Yeah, he seems better. He took a pretty big shot um, there and uh, he, he was moving around pretty well in practice yesterday, but like anything else, it's how do you, you work out and you get loose that you stiffen up and just, you know, we'll see today. Um, you know, with Trey, he's got so many great qualities, um, competes his butt off. He wants to win. He's confident. Um, he's got great belief in himself, phenomenal qualities. Now it's a matter of figuring that out in the college game, where, where to do what and so on. But, I mean, when you got the qualities that he has, you're giving yourself a chance to succeed. So um, he's a fun kid to coach. He brings great energy every single day. Uh, he brings great confidence and competitiveness. He's just one of those guys you love having on your team. Any other questions for coach? Uh, Jeff Wald, go ahead. I just had one follow-up. Uh, Richard, have you learned anything, whether it be from PJ and the football team or maybe another coach or another program that you've had at Williams Arena this year, just about what it's going to take to be able to successfully travel, you know, for games this year? No, I mean, well, PJ's got so many more players than we do. He's got a bigger group than we do. Um, I think the one thing that we all got to realize is if somebody gets it, it doesn't automatically mean they did something wrong. Um, what we're trying to do is very, very difficult, but I think it beats the alternative. You know, there's a lot of talk about don't play, push it back. I mean, my dad's been one of the most vocal guys about that. Um, and he has a pretty good opinion. I don't agree with it, but he's not crazy to think it, you know, I mean, it's, it's the bottom line is, can we pull it off safely? Uh, it's not going to be competitively equitable. What football did is football, took two weeks off and then goes and plays at Nebraska. They played great, but that's really, really hard. I bet that was probably the toughest game PJ's ever coached in his life. Um, so it's a very, very unique challenge. It's great for our players because they get to get out there and play. Uh, I told them over and over again, everybody's dealing with this. Everybody is dealing with disruption and it sucks for everybody, but you know what? our minds are the most clear when we're out there on the court. Um, 
So I don't think there's one way to, to trick the system into, you know, beating it. It's just, can you, can you shrink your world as best as you possibly can? Um, obviously wear a mask as most, you know, as much as you can and wash your hands and do those things. Uh, but also understand that like everything that we're doing, we will do for the health and safety of our players and, and our basketball program. And then last question goes to uh, Marcus Fuller. I was just going to say quick coach. Um, I don't know if you saw the Clippers uh, playing preseason, but Daniel had his you know, NBA preseason debut, um, you know, and obviously that's a big step for him moving forward. But I didn't, I didn't see it. I saw one of the clips on Twitter, but I mean, it's, uh, it's great for Amir and Daniel. Uh, it's back-to-back -back players that we've recruited out of this state who have left early to go to the NBA. I don't know when that's last happened at the University of Minnesota. Um, so proud of both of those guys. But again, it's, it's, it's not over. You know, you, we want you to be in the NBA for a long, long, long time. Um, you know, happy for Daniel. I know he signed a deal. I want that second contract, that third contract. That, that, that's where, uh, you know, the journey's just begun for those guys. It really has. Um, I think they're both going to get better and better. Uh, I'm excited that they can kind of be in this journey together, which is always nice because you get to professional level, it kind of changes a little bit, uh, and they'll be able to help each other out. But they're both great kids. They're both great representatives of the University of Minnesota, the state. You know, they believed in us, uh, and we're proud of them. So, uh, you know, the, the, their future is very, very bright, and um, we'll be cheering for them. Um, every game that's on TV, we're all going to be watching and rooting for them. All right. That's all the time we have today for coach. We'll have players coming up here shortly. Thank you. You know the drill. Let's see, sit there. I'm going to sit down All right, next up we'll have Booth Gotch. Anyone that has a question for Booth, go ahead and put it in the chat and we'll get started here. Andy Greeter, why don't you start us off? With obviously, the, obviously there was an appeal of, of coming home to play for Minnesota. How much of your desire was also to play in the Big Ten? Uh, it was one of my tests, you know, Big Ten. Also, you know, a lot of people say, you know, one of, one of the toughest, you know, better league, in, you know, in college basketball. And for me, I was, you know, I was looking for that challenge. I was, you know, want to go against the best teams, best schools, and things like that. So for me, it was one of the things I was looking forward to as well. Darren Wilson, go ahead. Booth, good to see you. We talked about this during the summer, but can you just harp on just, you know, how much healthier you are now compared to, you know, middle of last year at Utah and how much that is contributing to, to your three-point shot being so much better this year compared to last year? Yeah, you know, just being healthier, you know, is, you know, doing a lot of good things for me. You know, just being able to jump, being able to move the way I want to move. And, you know, like you said, raise my, you know, three more percentage up to where it needs to be. You know, that's something I, you know, wasn't able to do last year because I was injured for, you know, a long period of time. So for me, just being healthy now, just, you know, it just feels a lot better. You know, I'm able to go out there on the court confidently and just play my game. Marcus Fuller, we'll have you go next. I want to uh, just ask you about the chemistry. Um, you know, obviously, you and Marcus seem from the start to have a, a great uh, feel for the game together. Uh, can you talk about just the rest of the starters? I know you lost, you know, a couple guys, or obviously Brandon, and then Isaiah was in there in the last game. Just what's the chemistry like? Yeah, you know, for us, you know, having new like six or seven new guys on the team, you know, we're all trying to build our chemistry up together because you never know who's going to be on the court playing. You know, at any moment. So for us, it's all about you know all being connected, all doing, all being able to be on the same page when we're on the court. Like you said, you know, Brandon, you know, 
getting down and being hurt, you know, it's always the next man up. And, you know, for that guy, it's all about, you know, finding your flow, finding where you fit in. But for us, it's, you know, it's our job, you know, as players, just to be comfortable and, you know, have more on the same page. All right, next up, we'll have Mike Grimm. Uh, Booth, uh, starting the uh, Big Ten season with with one of the top teams in the country, what can you tell us about Illinois and then going up against one of the top guards in DeSumo? What what challenges does he present? What challenge do they present? Yeah, you know, just watching, you know, Phil on Illinois uh, lately, you know, they're a really good team, starting with their, you know, their guard play with uh, AO. You got a big man in uh, Coburn. You know, they're really, you know, tough and challenging team. You know, they got a lot of things that they, you know, says that they're, you know, having their guys – you know, play to the strengths and things like that. So for us, it's all about, you know, just shutting down, you know, their, their two main guys and just going with the game plan that we have. Uh, Jeff Wald, go ahead. Uh, Booth, I'm just curious, how, how do you feel like maybe being battle tested in your last two games will help, will help you prepare for Big Ten play? I mean, you had to go to overtime, you know, the second game against LMU. You had, you had to come back from 15 down to beat Boston College. How does that get you ready for a conference season? Uh, just, I think it just put us, you know, in a place where we, you know, we got to look at where we're at as a team, you know, playing, you know, Boston College going over time, you know, they're part of our conference school for us. Just, and for us, it was, you know, it was a good challenge for us to have, you know, going against, you know, a lot of big te 10 teams coming up. So, you know, it was this place that we needed to, you know, see where we're at as a team. I think that we uh, handled it, you know, pretty, pretty well. So hopefully we, you know, continue what we do best, you know, on the court and go on against the big 10 schools. Back to you, Marcus Fuller. Booth, I know when you uh, decided to come home and play for the Gophers, you expected to play in front of family and friends at the barn, haven't been able to do that. And then with the current situation you know, around the country with COVID, you haven't probably been able to see your family much at all either. So it's holiday season. What, what's, how tough is that for someone who came home, but you're not able to see your family much? Man, it's very tough. You know, at first, you know, you just think about, you know, being able to see your family, you know, whenever you want to and go home. Like I said, for like holidays coming up, and for me, it's just all about, you know, just you just gotta get over there. Just know, you know, put their our, our team's health and my health, you know, at first, you know. But at the same time, I can always do like you know, face some calls and things like that, you know, my family. But you know, I would love to be around them during these times, but unfortunately, I can't. So it's kind of tough, but you know, that's something I have to deal with. Any other questions for Booth? All right, thanks, Booth. We appreciate it. Appreciate it. Make sure it looks okay, and then I'm going to run over. Here we go. Now we're joined by Gabe Kelsher. Go ahead and put questions in the chat and we'll get started. Uh, and Greeter, did you have a question? Hey Gabe, good to see you. Um, what have you uh, been telling the, the transfers and, and the freshmen about the rigors of playing in the Big Ten? Uh, yeah, I've been telling them that, uh, you know, it's just tough every time. I mean, every game is gonna be a battle. I mean, Last year it was it was hard. Um, road games um, didn't come by easy. Um, uh, home games were were the ones that usually won. But I mean, this year is different. COVID, there's no fans, um, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a battle every game. I mean, uh, with COVID or no COVID, it was, it was a battle. But now it's you're gonna be a battle. So I've just been telling them that um, take just take each game step by step, um, game by game. Um, you're gonna have some 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 things you're gonna mess up on, but just the next play, just forget about it. Um, go out there, do what you do. Um, and let, let the game come to you. Next up, we'll have Darren Wilson. Gabe, good to see you. Coach Patino told us last week that with your shot mechanically, he feels like everything is fine, that, that it's the same shot that we saw two years ago, your freshman year. How do you explain your shooting that, that it's not quite what we saw two years ago? Yeah, it's just, um, I mean, just the ball just hasn't been going in. Um, it's not the mechanics. Uh, it's more, more mentally. 
Um, but uh, I mean, once 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 things flow, um, it's, it's gonna it's gonna keep going. I mean, I have, I have um, a bunch of belief in myself that's gonna go in. I mean, I'm a shooter. Um, sometimes it's not gonna go in. I mean, you see Clay Thompson. Sometimes he has off games on um, a little slump he's in, um, and then the next next couple of games he gets it going and he's he's on a roll. So I mean, once that ball goes in, and I'm, I'm feeling more, I'm I'm just gonna keep feeling confident. Once that it keeps going in, um, I'm just gonna it's gonna it's gonna fly. Next up, Marcus Fuller. Hey, but I wanted to ask you uh, what it's like playing with Booth. You know, you played Marcus last year, but he's taking his game to another level. So, you know, talk about the strength of the, the backcourt. It seems like you guys could lead uh, this team in the Big Ten. Yeah, uh, playing with Booth is a lot of fun. I mean, he's a, he's a, he's a rocket. Uh, once, uh, once he gets out of the wing, uh, we see him and he's gone. He's a, he's a fast, uh, crafty, crafty scorer, and uh, he can – play defense as well. And uh, he's, 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 he's a lot of fun to play with in the backcourt. Um, same with Marcus, same with Trey and uh, Jamal and all those guys in the backcourt. It's a lot of fun playing with the, these group of guys because, I mean, I'm always knowing that they, they want to get better and they, they're always competing as well. Mike Grimm, we'll have you go next. Gabe, um, what's it been like playing home games without fans there? And I know your family is always uh, coming to the games. And secondly, what do you envision it to be like to be at a place like Illinois or Purdue or Wisconsin and not have fans at a road game? Yeah, the home games, it's been weird. It's been a little weird. Um, I mean, once once the game starts here, I mean, we're locked in. I mean, I, I don't really... I don't really see. I mean, especially. I mean, only when like when a big play happens, a and one, a steal, or something like that, you look out and there's no one there. So that that's a little weird. Um, but um, uh, I mean, and also with uh, the, on the on the road games, it's going to be uh, very weird as well. Like I said last year, um, road games um, came came by hard to come to get a win. So and having having those fans um, really energized us, um, and it was it was a lot of fun just like making a shot and, and looking at them or. Or, or vice versa. So I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be weird um, on the road not having fans, but uh, we got to bring our own energy. Andy Greeter, back to you. I asked uh, Richard about the difficult start of the Big Ten schedule that you guys have, and he said, "I want us to be a challenge to play against as well." What can you say just about the confidence that you guys have internally that you guys will be a difficult test for other teams as well? Yeah, I think it'll be uh, very difficult for other teams. Um, I mean, I mean, a lot, a lot of people, a lot of people don't talk about us, but they talk about other teams, and I feel, that, um, I feel like that's 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 not that's not fair to us because I mean, we put ourselves at a big stage right now. Um, we're five and zero, going to play um, Illinois, a, a ranked team, and we're, we're we're trying to make noise. We're trying to uh, put ourselves on the map again, um, and back out there. So um, I feel like I feel like we're we're very excited um, at, at, at the spot we are right now. Any other questions for Gabe? We have one more second here. All right, thanks Gabe, appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hey everyone, we'll put this on the uh, digital press box uh, and we'll let you know when it's up there. Thanks for joining. Thanks Michelle.